This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com here, and I'm here to show you how to install Minecraft Forge or Forge Mod Loader for your Minecraft. This allows you to install mods for Minecraft that give you more functionality to the game and that you add new features, items, mobs, and various things like that. The first thing you want to do is you want to go over to MinecraftForge.net slash forum, go into the releases, and you're going to want to load, download the latest version of Minecraft Forge. You can do the direct download or the AdFly download. After you have it downloaded, you also then need to go find a mod that you want to use, or you can just install it right away, but let's go find a mod you want to use first. I put down a link in the description here on where you can find a whole list of Minecraft mods compatible with Minecraft 145 and 144. If you use an older version, you will if you use an older version of Minecraft than 145 or 144, you will have to look for specific mods compatible with that version and you may have to use an older version of Minecraft Forge. So, once you find a mod that you want to look for and for this example, I'll do the Clay Soldiers mod that I want to download for 145. Again, make sure it supports 145. Usually in the Minecraft forum, you'll see the version of Minecraft that's supported in brackets so you know it's compatible with the version of Minecraft you're on. Always pay attention to what the mod needs. In this case, you can see Minecraft Forge 6.4 or higher. We got the latest version, so we're okay. It also needs a map manager pack, so make sure you download any additional items that it needs. Again, AdFly is a download link which makes you see an ad before you can download your mod. So go ahead and just skip the ad after five seconds and then the mod will download. So now that we got the map manager pack, we're now going to go and download the mod itself. It should be towards the bottom here. Okay, here's the link for the uh, Clay Soldiers mod. Okay, you can see we've got our mods downloaded. This is the Clay Soldiers mod and the map pack that it requires, the jar files, which are Java executable files, and we have the Minecraft Forge. The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to unzip Minecraft Forge zip and put that in its own folder. I recommend using 7-zip, which is a free tool. Let it extract to its own folder. And now you have what you need ready to modify Minecraft. So to do that, open up a new window, hold the Windows E key. Then you're going to want to do percent app data to go to your application data. Dot Minecraft is the folder. And then what I do is I right click on favorites and then I add this current location of favorites. This way if you ever need to do a lot of mods or modifications to Minecraft, you quickly have a quick link to your Minecraft folder. You go into the bin directory and then here you have the Minecraft.jar file. Make sure Minecraft is closed first and then you're going to open archive with 7-zip. You're going to select all these files. You're going to drag them over and you're going to say yes. Then you're going to delete the meta-inf folder and press OK. And now you have Forge installed for Minecraft. But what you want to do is you want to make sure it works before you install the mods. So go to your Minecraft and open it up and then when you log in you should see the Forge loader start loading. The FML means the Forge Loader is loading, and if you get to the Minecraft Start screen, you'll now see a new Mods option. These are the default packs for Minecraft with the Forge, but there's no extra mods. So now we know we can go ahead and install our mods because Minecraft Forge is installed properly. Close out of Minecraft. In your Minecraft folder, your .minecraft folder, again, this is in percent app data percent and then my dot minecraft there should be a new mods folder that's empty go ahead and drag over your mods that you want to install typically I only do one mod at a time but sometimes you may want to have multiple mods installed in this case there's uh, the man pack and the clay soldiers mod drag them over they could stay as jars you don't need to extract them put them in your mods folder and then you're ready to go ahead and start minecraft again 
Now log into Minecraft and you'll see the FML load. If you see any errors before you get to the screen, like you'll see a, a screen of death and it'll print out some Java exception errors, that means there is either a bug with Forge or there's a bug with the mod you have installed. Typically this happens if you are using a version of mod that's not compatible with the version of Minecraft you're running or if the mod and Forge loader aren't compatible. So you have to make sure that all the versions match up or you will get errors and you won't get to this point. To confirm that your mod's installed, just click on the mods and then you can see the Clay Soldier's mod is installed. Now when I play Minecraft in creative or survivor mode, I'll have all the functionality of that mod. This is how you install Minecraft Forge and mods from Minecraft Forge into your Minecraft. Thank you for watching.